welcome to my very special music room. Today, you're at my house and you're in my music room that I have at home. And I'm going to show you lots of really cool instruments today that I've got at my house. But first of all, I thought we should start off today's lesson like we do every lesson when we're at school and that's with the welcome song. So I'm gonna think of some actions that you're going to do and so I need you to make sure you can stand up and you've got some space because the first action we are going to do is jumping. And we are going to jump very loudly. Do you remember what the music word for loud is? Did you say forte? If you said forte, you're correct. Okay, so let's jump very loudly. Here we go. slow is? It's been a while. Give you a hint. It starts with the letter L. D did you say lento? You did. Well done. Okay, so very lento. We're going to tick tock side to side. sounds instruments make and some instruments will make high sounds and some instruments will make low sounds and some instruments will make both high and low just depending on where you play them so for example this piano does high and it does low this is what a low sound on the piano sounds like what a high sound on the piano sounds like. It's very different, isn't it? You know what else I've got that makes a high sound and a low sound? I've got my special chime bars. So have a listen to this one. Tell me if you 
you think it's a high sound or a low sound. You ready? What do you think? I'll play it one more time. Do you want to hear the other one just to compare it? sound did you say hi I think you're right what about this one did you say low well done you are correct okay do you know what else I have in my special music room that makes a high sound you might know what this one is I'll hold it up for you first can you see that? What shape is that? Oh, it's a triangle. Well done. Let's have a listen. Is that a high sound or a low sound? Did you say hi? You're right. It's a high sound. Very good. Okay. I've got another really special instrument here. I'm just going to hold it up and see if you know what it is. Do you know what this is? It's a violin. Now, when you hold the violin, you have this special chin rest. You put it here. Now, this can make high sounds and low sounds. Low. And high. And then there's some middle notes too. Do you want to hear them? Pretty cool, huh? And it can get really, really high. But Mrs. B doesn't play the violin, so I'm not going to do that for you today. But I do have another instrument I want to share with you. Have a listen to this one. Let's see if you know what this one is. Have you seen this before? This is called a trumpet. Can you say trumpet? Trumpet, well done. And this trumpet is a member of the brass family. Now, the brass family has instruments, the trumpet, the trombone, the French horn, and the tuba. And they are all made out of brass. And to play them, you have a mouthpiece and you have to make a funny buzzing sound like this with your lips. <laughs> Sounds a bit funny, doesn't it? Can you make that sound with me? Here we go. One, two, three. <laughs> Good job. Now, when I add the mouthpiece to it, it sounds even funnier. Have a listen to this. Ready? <laughs> does this sound a little bit like a funny duck? I think it does. Then when I add the mouthpiece to the instrument, it sounds different, like this. <sighs> Pretty cool, huh? It's really loud, isn't it? You might have heard this instrument on Anzac Day because they usually play the, um, the bugle. I actually have a bugle sitting right behind me. Check this out. This is my bugle. Now this is what is traditionally played at Anzac Day. Shall I try and make a sound out of it? Have a listen. Pretty cool, huh? Sounds very different to the trumpet. Now, we've done some high sounds, we've done some low sounds. I'm going to do one more activity where I'm going to play some music and when you hear that music you have to react to it, okay? Okay, I've put the camera this way so you can see what my hands are doing on the piano for our special game. So, 
if you hear the marching music, which sounds like this, you have to march on the spot. If you hear the crazy turtle music that sounds like this, you have to pretend you're a turtle stuck on your back and you can't get up. If you hear the lullaby music like this, that's when you have to go to sleep. Now, I'm going to play the music and I'm going to change it randomly and each time I change it, you have to make sure you do the right action for the music. So remember, marching, crazy turtle, and sleeping. Are you ready? Okay, good luck. I'll give you a hint. We'll start with the marching music. Did you change your actions for all those crazy sounds? You did? Well done. Okay, what I'd like you to do today is in the comments section of the post, can you tell me which instrument you liked the most today? Was it the chime bars? Was it the piano? Was it the trumpet? Maybe you like the triangle. Maybe you thought the old bugle was kind of cool. Or you might have liked the violin. And let's not forget the guitar. So you tell me which was your favorite instrument? Okay guys, have a great day and I look forward to seeing you next week in Mrs. B's music room. Bye.